France encoding. What is the capital of France? It, it is the question. So the encoder technique will read, uh, take the whole questions, put in the model, dense embedding model, and both encoder weights optimize to minimize vector difference. Okay, and then context encoder provide the answer. So here only capital and France and what that means someone is asking something. So if here context will be written just like Paris is the capital of France. So this is trained using multiple text, multiple parameters you have to provide to the model. The model are able to understand that this way we have to write the text. Dense encoding. Dense means depth or the you can say more data or lies on a particular position. If this is the XYZ plane, so we have a 3D diagram. Okay. For the data, just like in gradient descent. If there is a depth gradient, that means there are more of data which is common, or you can say uh, you can group those words, those, those data are related to a particular group, or you can say particular object. Just like that, here, these all yellow dots, yellow circles, are grouped at a uh, are dense at a one place that means if you can uh, see the text Saturday Sunday uh, Friday Sunday one day so these are the day of a week so that's why they are uh, placed at a very less distance so you can understand by that by this graph word are represented by dense vector where a vector represents the projection of the word into a continuous vector space. Okay, continuous vector space means the continuously data are coming into the data space and the data will be fetched to the model uh, continuously fetching and processing. So, which word are storing at what place and how it represents in the, uh, this projection? It is an improvement over more the traditional bag of word model encoding. In the previous classes, I had uh, give you some bag of words. You can see here. This is the bag of words. That means we are creating a table, numerical table against this text. Okay. And then we are matching with this text. These are vocabulary, which is the the data which is created and this text is asked by the user okay and then we are processing those all uh, numerical data through the input layer hidden layer okay these are input layer green and then yellow uh, and uh, orange and uh, this pink is hidden layer and this is our output layer so we are connecting all those layers processing through the uh, numerical data and then we'll map it that which word is asked again and again and what will be the sentence what is the behind left chair table what is behind the table okay so this way what is comes one times this is frequency okay this is called frequency one two three how many times so this is the technique is called bag of words. So in this technique, words are represented by dense vector where a vector represents the projection of the word into a continuous vector space. It is an improvement over more the traditional bag of word model. Okay. This is the another technique which can remove the disadvantages of bag of words model. So, dense encoding are capable for more features. 
encoding schemes where large sparse vectors are used to represent each word just like that woman queen man king okay if king minus man plus woman equal to queen okay so these are the techniques we can use to predict the output okay 